Hello my outlets and welcome back to another video. Now let this be known I am not rushing the most magical time of the year which to me is September, October, November, December but I do need to start planning as Mrs. Claus <laughs> I do need to start planning for Christmas and so normally I start really looking at like to-do lists and things like that in October so I'm going to be doing just a little something different this is something that I have kept up with this little DIY planner oh I wish I had my old ones I know they're somewhere and I've shown them to you before um, probably over the last couple of years that I've shown this um, how I keep up with Christmas um, since I want to say 09 or 12 or so it's when my kids were really little and I had to like keep an ongoing list of things it was and so it's just continued for years that I've done this I put together a little spiral notebook and I keep it going throughout this year this is the third one um, and if I um, I'll look for my other ones and I'll show them to you again as we get closer to the holidays because this is I will carry this with me at all times to keep up with things because um, this is when life gets really busy and um, I like to be able to um, stay on task and be prepared and have all the things not hit me up you know so that's what I do and so basically I've also um, have these spiral notebooks they're just plain spiral notebooks right the first one I had I bought it like Dollar General I think um, many years ago but I do have several in my shop if you're interested um, these are the only ones I had left the Mrs. Claus sold out so quickly um, this is one I call her peppermint sweet and again these are just plain spiral notebooks um, that I could make into a basically like a to-do list I have um, the nativity she's so cute and I love the the thought and then um, deck the halls these are the three that I have left um, and as you can tell I'm kind of down to just a few with this and um, comes a sparkly jingle pen which I like to have while I'm doing my planning I'm gonna go with this which surprisingly a, a pretty plain white instead of a colorful one <laughs> this year but it'll come with a pom-pom jingle pen and then these are just um, little ephemera packs that I had put together that just have some random papers and thing like this. And then it also comes with one of these vintage uh, sticker books that I picked up at an estate sale last year. And so I thought these would be perfect to include in um, to include one in this in the. Uh, in the note for the notebook basically the planner notebook the DIY planner so let's go ahead and get started so I have followed the same routine I have added a few things over the years but I start out with the introduction page typically um, I kind of have themes um, for each Christmas whether it be like gingerbread um, I've done houses I've done Christmas trees so just depending on kind of the theme I theme my book around it as well and gingerbread has been kind of in my realm for several years and I'm gonna continue but with a twist of Mrs. Claus so um, so I put in a we're just gonna go kick off and start playing in in the planner so I like to do a cover page and I have found these three random sheets of paper in my stash I really like this because it's pretty and it's set on it reminds me of Mrs. Claus and then I had these which are actually um, I was looking at the back side as you can tell they were in a box that is not the most neatly put together because I've dug around in it <laughs> but I think I'm going to save these actually because I really like those images and I'll probably be using those in my journal or in here so I think I'm gonna go with road this rose page now you might say roses and I'm doing a lot of red and green this year but roses don't go with um, with Christmas but I think they do with mrs. Claus because she likes her roses so um, I and also I just kind of do a page to where it, you know it just kind of 
sets the tone or changes up the sets the tone and changes up knowing that this is a new year coming into my um, planner because like I said I carry this with me um, from year to year until it's full and again I will try to find those other two they I think they're probably in the Christmas boxes is what I'm thinking because um, why wouldn't I put them there right <laughs> So I think they're in the Christmas, um, and I haven't, I was laughing because uh, me and my daughter have a j kind of a joke going, one of my, my favorite movies is Christmas Carol, and so whenever we get closer to Christmas, we start saying, e I say, Ebenezer, and she says, Scrooge, because of that one George C. Scott version, I love that movie, and um, anyway, let me see what I did here, sometimes I like to... Follow. I follow suit of what I did the year before just because it kind of helps me. So anyway, I sent I sent her a text. She was at an event for college, and I sent her a text message, and I said, Ebenezer, and she said, no, Mom, not yet. <laughs> and I feel like that could be kind of like both ways because, like, there's ghosts in there. It could be Halloween. It can be because it's Christmas themed. It's Christmas. She said, no, not yet. So... I guess I am going to be waiting um, to do my Ebenezer. So, but we can't wait on getting prepared. So I'm just using a Mrs. Claus sticker. And then what I like to do here is put the date, which I have, I did see in the same box that I pulled this paper out of that I had some red stickers. So I'm gonna come back, red number stickers. So I'm gonna come back and include those. I wanted to see if I did this last year. I probably need to add them to this as well. Oh, I see. So I did put the dates as far as they're in here. but And that's pretty much it. I usually have a little round, you know those little tags that you put that have the uh, metal on the round? I like to put those on here. But as you can see, I haven't done it for um, a few years. I guess maybe I couldn't find them. I know I have some um, so that I can come back and do that as well. So my next page is, let's look back, because like I said, I like to follow pretty much what I did last year. I put in the calendars. Now this year I'm actually adding October because um, as I noticed, oh, and two I put on sticker paper and one I did not. Go figure. But I just printed these off of um, the internet under Wiki Calendar. And you can actually just print out any, if you have some of those notepads that have the dates on there I have these calendars already on there that works out great too this is basically just to have an eye when you're when you're thinking about what's coming down the pipe um, you have like it right here like you have a visual of the weekends because um, really when I started doing this um, well not right when I started doing them but as I evolved a lot of this I would do different shows um, I remember doing different holiday shows and I would have to try to keep up with those and this was such a great way to figure out okay what weekend um, what weekend is what you know so um, I don't really do shows anymore my sister's gonna be doing one in December um, a market day so I'm gonna be helping her I'm so excited for her so, so I'm just gonna and this I did print out on sticker paper. And I printed them out a lot smaller to um, to fit in this journal. I think it might have been like at a 30% or something. Just so I had room that they could fit in here. And then let's put December. And like I said, I start making lists of things that need to be done. And um, what's nice about... I keep it in my my bag and I can pull it out at any time and be like okay what else am I needing what do I need to look for um, I do ask my kids for wish lists I know that one of the things um, that is on my mind right now is coming up with ideas for neighbors gifts normally I do cookies I've done uh, Girl Scout candies in the past but I want to know what you guys do if y'all have that you make like a mass production of something <laughs> that sounds so I make a mass production of cookies for those neighbors, <laughs> but I do, and I mean, it's it's fun, and I love making cookies, but it's a lot of work, and not that I'm not afraid of work, but sometimes I just am like, oh my gosh, 
it used to be so funny that kids would be like, oh no, mom's baking today. And it's not that I don't mind baking, but it's like, if it's all day long, seriously, from like 5 a.m. to like when it gets dark at 7 or something, I'm baking. And I love to bake. I love to bake, but sometimes that's a lot. And it's weird because even though you're like baking your heart away, you, you, when you start making the batches, you have to make like three batches of each cookie. So let's see if this is going to cover this up. Mm. Somewhat. Didn't kind of plan that out. But, oh, where is my dice? I have those little um, stickers that are labels and I could have put them on there to make it look a little less ugly. <laughs> Mrs. Claus does not like her planner to be ugly, but no worries. I will figure out something. A sticker always works for everything, right? Um, and I don't have any stickers. Let's see if November is going to fit. I should have made that a little longer, or like I said, I could have put a label over it, but again, it's not the end of the world. Oh, here we go. Here's November. Okay, let's try November. Oh, and also the these uh, these planner sets come with this set of stickers. So it has these words in here and then um, just some random... Oh, look, looky here. Looky here. I can do something. Let's see here. This is going to work. Oh, yeah. So November is a lot bigger word and it covers up nicely. And you don't have to, but of course I'm trying to make this my own and so... I'm just going to come in here and add a star here, and we'll go from there, and I can always just outline that and cover that other part up, and then I'm, it'll be pretty. Okay, so here's December. I, ha I am... Um, well, maybe December wants to come off of there. Where's my little sticker puller thingy? Um, so, so some other things that, uh, you know, as I remember Advent was such a big deal with my kids. Why is this not coming off of there? It's being very, very stubborn. Oh, Lord. Okay. I had one do this the other day. I'm going to cut it out for just a minute and see if I can work with it. And I'm sorry if my stickers get annoying if you if you guys have the same issue. I am looking to have my stickers... Oh, thank you. Sometimes it just takes a little patience. But I am thinking about having my stickers um, cut and printed elsewhere because I do everything here in-house. And I'm looking, I can't, um, it's a lot, you know, so anyway, okay, so, but um, that is something that's part of my future goal, and I shouldn't fight with them as on occasion. So as you can see, also, I, um, I fight with taking them off of the sticker page, that is not okay. Um, I also will cover, put washi on these, I don't have my Christmas washi at my fingertips, even though I see some over there, but um, I do wash the edges of my paper. Now, I don't double these up because I literally just write. I don't do any kind of like layering too much, uh, mixed media, things like that. So, um, but I do wash the edges because it just looks so much nicer. Um, and I know I have some pink Christmas washi so I'm going to be using that okay so the next step um, like I mentioned also I really put in the weekends so for example put that on that. oops oh I have to use my sparkle pen okay so for example I know we've already we're already on the second weekend we're coming upon the second weekend in October um, but let's see what I've I just like the way I've done it before, so I like to stick with the same idea. Okay, so like I will put like the fifth. Um, 
and then I'll skip a couple lines and put the 12th because the fifth already has happened. So I'm going to put the 12th and the 19th and the 26th. And like here I've been packaging package. Don't you love the sound? <laughs> package up the Christmas, uh, Mrs. Claus Christmas because you guys if you ordered the Christmas kits the creative kits they will be shipping out today and tomorrow those are my two dates that I'm really trying to get these shipped out because the first video is on Sunday um, and that's one of the reasons also why I wanted to include um, the videos because um, I remember how I'll have six weeks of videos coming up so what I'll do is I'll go get my planner and fill those dates in but right now I'm just kind of showing you guys um, how I get it set up um, so over here I'll put the second the ninth there's actually five let's see ninth one two sixteenth one two twenty third okay so I can skip to I just want to make sure I have enough room so the ninth the 16th, the 23rd, and the 30th. So as things happen, as things fill up over here, like I know we have something going every weekend in October, but I need to check my other planner and write that in. Um, so also what I noticed on here, I'm going to slip this in here, um, is I had my dates to remember. So, right here. I don't know why it's being so stubborn to get these off of there. I cut it out just like I did before. Me and my silhouette, we fight a lot. <laughs> we have a love hate relationship. I'll never get talking to other sticker companies, and they're like, yeah, sometimes, you know, I think they get tired. It gets tired. And I do work mine like a horse. Let's see, dates to remember. So that kind of just goes with that. And then over here, it's December. So that's when things really get busy. I think this is the date that my sister's having her event. I want to be there to help her. Um, 14th, 21st and 28th and then 28th Christmas is oh, we don't want to talk about it yet <laughs> and again you can like start using some of these as I mean in I'd like to start using them and you can too see like right here okay so let me go ahead and get see what we have next the to-do list which is oh, this is something that really helps me um, get through um, keep on task. So, uh, where's the to-do list? Right here. Oh, now it wants to behave. Thank you. So I'm going to go ahead and grab one of these stickers. Grab our peppermint sweet. I'm going to put her here. And then to-do list. And pretty much... I kind of follow the same thing that I do from year to year. Okay, so, and as you can see, last year, I did not check Mark Christmas cards. And <laughs> so we're going to do Christmas cards up front. Then I have the shoe boxes, which last year was the first year in years. And I don't know what, what went on. It was just too weird. It was just a... I, we are buying a new tree. We've been buying a new tree for a few years, but um, I've got to do that soon. And then uh, decorate the house. And decorate the tree. We used to have um, Brazos' little friend come over and help us, but... Now everything seems kind of 
what am I going to do for Advent? Everything, you know, now that they're out of school and kind of going their separate ways in life, it's they, Brazos is so busy with school and, and Rebecca's busy. So I don't know. We'll see what happens. Um, Advent, donate food. And I found a new food pantry, so I'm really excited about um, doing that. Donate toys. Wrap presents. Um, here's the neighbor's cookie gifts. And also, you know, stuff like, um, I think we're going to do, um, you know, I'll include stuff like wanting to do things with the kids because I know, um, my son's been real interested in doing like activities like going to festivals and things like that. So I hope to do some of those things. Um, let's see here. Co I think we're going to do a cozy swap, cozy sock swap again. That was fun. I thought it was, it was successful. I think you guys liked it. Cozy swap. I'll just put cozy swap. Okay. And then let me put parentheses socks. Okay. Um, trash men. I always want to make sure I take care of them. My mailman, bless his little heart. I haven't seen my mailman. He, um, set up table for Christmas Eve. Oh yeah, I always like to make the table really pretty. And I can add things as I go along. Like I said, like doing, finding different things that activities um, that we may want to do. Like, I know we like to go to these um, locally, you know, support some of the local crafters and things like that. Okay, so the next thing besides the to-do list, the next thing is traditions. Um, and last year... I don't think I had it, which was one of the things was um, buying um, Christmas crackers. And so I don't think I had them. And we've had them for um, years, you guys. Traditions. So I want to go and get them early. Like if I see them out, I'm going to buy them. Because I waited too long last year. So, put that on there. And anything else, like, um, um, oh, like, I buy ornaments, um, by Chris, tradition, by Christmas. Crackers. Um. Um, ornaments. I already bought the ornaments, you guys, so I can go ahead and check mark that by ornaments. Okay. And then I also have like my, um, which I have social media, Mrs. Claus Christmas. That's the creative Christmas that I was, um, that I did last year. Okay, so then we have um, Christmas cards. Who we send our Christmas cards out to? And I think, oh, true confession, you guys. <laughs> Brazos helps me with my Christmas cards. She's so sweet. And I think she wrote them all out. All I had to do was write the addresses. And like I said, last year was such a weird year. Um, so I didn't do that. But this year, maybe they're already done. I've, again, they probably are in the Christmas boxes. So that would be really good. And I'll never forget, I think Loveland's Life said, you know, doing Christmas cards would be great um, every year to, um, you know, to basically have um, um, them already done. Like do 10 a month or something like that. So, okay, snail mail... I have snail mail and Cindy mail. So, put our little snowman on there. Let's see here. 
So yeah, so it's kind of, I've kind of put this as the same last year, and I'm going to do that the same this year. Cindy Mail and Snail Mail. And I think I had like the cozy sock. I'm going to do um, Christmas cards as another, actually postcards for um, sticker club members. That was on my list in my head last year, but I got two, I don't know what happened. Okay, so then, um, oh yeah, and then we're going to do our cozy cozy sock swap and then I'll put things on there as I go along if there's anything else that um, I want to keep doing okay crafts anything we're gonna be making this year which I'm gonna list all the um, all the crafts we're going to be doing for the creative Christmas and this is something that everybody can play along with it doesn't necessarily mean that you needed to buy the kit but um, there you can definitely go and get the supplies and, and follow along and I'll have a supply list before we by next week by this Sunday so we're going to be doing a um, in no particular order you guys so um, just keep that in mind so we're going to be doing a funky Junky apron. Okay. A P R. Spell it right. Apron. Okay. Then we're going to be doing a tiny tin. More details on that. We're going to be doing a funky gaudy wreath. <laughs> I'm going to call it a funky junky wreath. Mini wreath. It is. A, it is a mini wreath. Um, I will be doing my journal setup too, and I can't remember what else. There's a lot, some other things. Um, there will be some other things too to go along with that, but that's for now. Okay. Um. Crafts. Advent. Oh, the Advent. The Advent. I've been wanting to make her Advent wreath. I'm going to put that on there. That's something that I want to do. So, I've done an Advent for the kids for years. But now, they're all grown up. But they still love the Advent. So I will be doing something with Advent. I haven't figured that out yet, so I'm going to leave that blank. Um, okay, then we're getting into the dinners, which I normally like to put those on the same page so I can look at it while I'm doing it with the grocery list. Let's see what's next. Cookies. Okay. Cookies. Let's see, I'm going to see here real quick. I'm thinking in my head. So I think, what did I include my December daily at? Did I not use it last year, I wonder? That's strange. So I think that's what I'm going to put next door to Advent is December daily. Now, it's been playing nice, and now it didn't want to play nice again. Why? 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 Okay. December daily. I don't know why I didn't use it last year. That's so weird. So we'll put Santa on there. Actually, I'm going to put Santa on a different one. We're going to put this holly jolly girl. Okay. And this is where I can... Normally what I would do is if I didn't have time to... Because I would tell a story a day. And if I didn't have time to do it that day, I would make a list of it. And then that way I could go back in. Um, and figure that out. So I'm just going to put that in there like that. Advent December daily. And then we're going to do the dinners and the grocery list. So 
dinner dinners. Dinner. And I'm gonna put her cute little pink girl here. And let's see how to set up Thanksgiving, Christmas Eve, and Christmas Day. Thanksgiving is typically just like something that I bring. Um, Christmas Eve. Last year what we did was we made our big meal Christmas Eve and then Christmas Day was, you know, typical breakfast. Christmas Day. And I haven't thought even thought about any of this yet. So, and then the grocery list goes over here. So that way I can kind of keep up with, oops. What in the world do I need to buy at the grocery store? <laughs> Put my little bucket of stars here. Like that. Okay. Now, what's the next one? I need to remember to put the cookies in. Oh, yeah, cookies. And I'm going to actually leave this page blank because we always typically sit down, or we don't really, like, sit down, but we... Um, I normally like to make a list of different cookies I like to make anyway, but normally... It's like, okay, who do we need to remember for delivering cookies? And so I'll put that over here. As you can see, last year we did like a little one of those tear-off tag things. So, um, oh, and then right here I talk about the different kind of cookies I want to make and how many ba batches of each. Um, yeah, I don't know. I gotta, we're gonna sit down. And I'll come back and, and show you guys either at the end or if, if it happens during, something like that. Um, usually I kind of show at the end, after it's all said and done. The final conclusion. <laughs> okay, and then this is where I like to keep up with Christmas lists of what to purchase. We'll put Santa here because he is um, a big deal, right? So, Chris wish list is this is what I want. This is this is you know what I'm wishing for. Put this in, and then over here is actually what is purchased, and that's how I keep up with even Stephen and all that good stuff. Okay, and this is for the, the immediate family, and then this is like, did I do that last year? Um, okay, so I don't know why Christmas isn't used. Did I miss something? But gift list is just other gifts that I need to purchase. And then I always like to have a thing for like next year's ideas. And let's look at what I put last year because I'm always intrigued to be like, well, what was my ideas and have I followed through with them? Let me see here. I'm going to put my little heart angel here. Um, actually, yeah, right here. And then all I have is some stars, and I will randomly put those around. And I love using up a sticker sheet, don't you guys? Okay. Let's see what we said for last year. Greenery and lighting on the fence. And, oh, my a little people nativity for my farm set. Oh, I do want to do that. I think I even saw someone last year do it online and I just thought it was so cute. So, all right, so that is it, you guys. That is the planner set up. I will come in here and add washi, start thinking about cookies, dinners, Christmas gifts, um, things that I wanna do. Don't forget to do.
So, yeah, I'm just going to use up the stickers because I love these little stars. Oh, you know what I want to make? I'm going to put that on my list right now because I'm thinking about stars. Is those wooden stars with lights that they have in Vermont. Which I, I will have to, I'm going to do a page on that. There's my crafts page. Me and my sister both want to do this, so wooden. We went to the, <laughs> wait, let me write this down. We went to the, um, oh, it's like the town, where do you go, like the information center? Oh, I can't think of what it's called now. But anyway, we went there and we're like, yeah, we want to buy one of those star kits. Well, they come out with these wooden pieces, like four feet. And I'm like, I don't think that will fit in our suitcase. And I don't think we have room at all. And I don't think we can just walk on board with those. <laughs> so anyway, and the guy was like, listen, go out, find a birch tree, which I don't think we have birch trees here. I'm going to ask my husband, but I don't think we have birch trees here. But anyway, I mean, we have other trees. I have lots of oaks and pecan trees I can use. So, um, yeah, I wanted, we definitely want to do that. So that's part of our crafting sun. And I have these little bows I bought from Dollar Tree. And I was thinking, I can get rid of that. It would be cute just to kind of like name this, this area here as the new section. Since I don't have the metal pieces. Just kind of all those in there. I hate when they come out on the other side because lo and behold, I will scratch. But I can put washi tape down this side here and cover those up. Because I'll scratch myself with them. Or poke myself. <laughs> I like to come in here and just kind of make sure that they are flat because I have a tendency to do that. All right, you guys. Well, thanks for planning with me. This was fun and I feel already a sense of relief that I have this completed because it is a, it's, it's definitely something that helps me through the holidays, keep on task, keep focused. And, um, yeah, so I hope you guys do something like this as well. Um, if you guys are not interested in the spiral, I do have the stickers alone. Or if you bought a spiral last year, because I know several of you guys did that, um, the, the stickers are in there. So you can purchase the stickers if you only want the stickers. So, all right, you guys, thanks so much for joining me. And I will see you in my next video. And as always, stay sparkly. Bye-bye.